we've seen a plethora of celebrities and online influencers shill for crypto companies. And finally, one of them is being held accountable. Are they only being held minimally accountable? Yes. Will this dissuade them from doing this in the future? Not necessarily, but this still is pleasantly surprising to see. Who am I talking about? Well, of course, reality television show star Kim Kardashian. As CNN explains, Kim Kardashian agreed to pay a $1.26 million fine to the Securities and Exchange Commission to settle civil charges after the reality TV star touted a crypto asset, Ethereum Max, on Instagram. The SEC charged Kardashian with failure to disclose that she was paid $250,000 to publish her Instagram post. In addition to paying the fine, she agreed to cooperate with the SEC's ongoing investigation. This case is a reminder that when celebrities or influencers endorse investment opportunities, including crypto asset securities, it doesn't mean that those investment products are right for all investors, said SEC Chair Gary Gensler. Quote, we encourage investors to consider an investment's potential risks and opportunities in light of their own financial goals. Kardashian also agreed to not promote any crypto securities for three years. Ms. Kardashian is pleased to have resolved this matter with the SEC said a statement from her attorneys. And I'm sure that she is. Now, in addition to the $1.26 million fine, she also has to forego the $250,000 that she made from Ethereum Max. So is this embarrassing? Yes. Is it costly? Absolutely. But is this a sufficient punishment to dissuade her and other celebrities and influencers from doing the same thing? And the answer is an unequivocal no, because as John Iderella points out, this is only 0.07% of her net worth. In other words, if this is lucrative for her, she's going to continue to do that and just pay the fines. Because if you're making more money shilling for crypto, then you have to pay out in fines. Then it's just the simple cost benefit analysis. And it's good to see someone finally be held accountable because we've been seeing influencers do terrible things. I mean, Logan Paul, for example, participated in various pump and dumps where he'll hype up a new cryptocurrency and then sell it once his audience buys in. It's incredibly disgusting and it's them exploiting their loyal audiences. And it has to stop, but it's not stopping. And even when people like Kim Kardashian know that they need to disclose when they're participating in an, in an ad campaign, they still don't do it. Why? Because it's uh, lucrative. This isn't the first time that Kim Kardashian, by the way, has been busted for not disclosing that her posts are ads. And I just, I don't understand that because you already make so much money. I get that shilling for crypto is lucrative, but you make so much money through other avenues. Do you really want to rip off your audience to make a couple of extra bucks, comparatively speaking? I mean, for me, I don't do ads on this show. I haven't done an ad since like 2017, and that was for a small coffee company based out of Seattle. But I am really hesitant about accepting ads, even if I don't necessarily think that ads are inherently wrong, but I don't want to bug my viewers with more ads when they're already going to see the pre-roll ads from YouTube. I just think that it's unnecessary. And if I don't need to do it to survive, I'm not going to do it unless I'm very desperate. But these celebrities, they're shameless. They don't care. They already have millions, if not billions of dollars, and they're still trying to get every penny that they can from their supporters through these influencers, from their supporters who trust them. And I don't know how people like Kim Kardashian are able to sleep at night knowing that they're fucking over people who believe in them, who rely on them, who actually believe what they're saying. But yet they use their clout to pump up these crypto scams, and it's just genuinely disgusting and the level of shilling that we've seen for cryptocurrency and nfts by the likes of you know uh what's his name matt damon paris hilton jimmy fallon these are all so wealthy people like all of them they're so rich and they won't stop now i've got to point to the a video put out by gary gensler this is the chair of the sec now they cited a couple of quotes from him in the article that we just read but the video that he put out it's so elementary that it could be a Sesame Street segment explaining to children why you shouldn't take the financial advice of these influencers. But yet it's so bad and so like obvious and common sense that I have to show this to you just so you know what we have to deal with in the United States. Celebrities and influencers often are endorsing a variety of products and services across television ads, social media or print on everything from clothing, diet plans, to perfumes. It catches our attention. We always wondered, did they use the product? 
Do they like the product? How much were they paid to endorse it? In any case, what does this have to do with the Securities and Exchange Commission? Sometimes celebrities endorse investment opportunities, like crypto tokens or special purpose acquisition companies. Celebrity endorsements, though, don't mean that an investment product is right for you, or even, frankly, that it's legitimate. Even if a celebrity endorsement is genuine, each investment has its own risk and opportunities and may not fit your investment needs. Furthermore, a celebrity or influencer's incentives aren't necessarily aligned with yours. We might enjoy watching a celebrity playing on a basketball court, starring in a reality TV show or a movie, or performing to a large crowd at a stadium show. We shouldn't confuse those skills, though, with the very different skills needed to offer appropriate investment advice. So, before investing, please do your research. Consider the investment's potential risk and benefits in light of your own financial goals. Search a company's finances, organization, and business prospects through the Securities and Exchange Commission's database called EDGAR. And when it comes to crypto, remember, many of these are highly speculative assets. You may be wondering if it's right for you or even if it might be a scam. If you have questions about investing, check out our resources at Investor.gov. Yeah, so you have to do this thanks to simp culture. Because of simps, while they refuse to believe that the people that they've deified on social media would ever do anything wrong, would ever mislead them or lie to them, Therefore, you know, you have to put out basic statements like this, that mm, maybe there's some ulterior motives. Maybe their agenda doesn't necessarily align with your agenda. Your agenda is to make money on this particular investment. Their agenda is to just pump it and get that sponsorship, sponsorship money. The fact that you have to release videos like this, it shows you how compelled people are to follow the advice, the financial advice of celebrities, and that's so dangerous. But yet, even if it seems common sense to people like you, most people, they don't think about it. They just think, okay, well, Kim Kardashian, I guess I trust her, so she would never mislead me when mm, actually she is getting money to mislead you. And the thing is that what makes this especially nefarious is that with that particular Instagram post, Kim Kardashian wasn't saying that this was an ad. So there's this implication that she's promoting this on her own volition because it's that good of a cryptocurrency that you should buy into when she was getting paid to do that. And to not disclose that makes it particularly gross. So either way, I'm happy that she's being held accountable, even if it's just a slap on the wrist. But it's not a big enough punishment to dissuade celebrities and influencers from doing things like this and as a result it's going to continue unless you hit them with harsh and strict penalties i do think that stopping her from advertising or promoting crypto securities for three years is big but at the end of the day the financial penalty is really going to be what stops them from doing this and unless you take lots of money from them for, prom for prom uh, promoting these scams they're just not going to stop i think that's obvious